Hey Larry, Sean, uh, I cracked a nut on all the math formulas. So machine options, work table. The first one I'm going to start with is pulse unit. Uh, I'm going to change the need pulse back to 6400 just for math purposes. All right, let's say we have, I'm going to use an example of a 10 millimeter object. So using your math formula, 10 millimeters times 3.1 Four well one five nine. I'm extending the pi formula out. Equals thirty one point four one five nine or five nine. Sorry, I'm going aviation on you. Divide that by two. Equals fifteen point seven zero oh, seven nine five. All righty. So I'm going to enter in fifteen point seven zero seven nine five. Hit enter. The number that's up here, I don't know if you can read it, is point zero zero two four five four three six seven two. How did they come up with that number? It's actually really simple. I have no idea what it means, but I figured the math out as to how they're doing it. So we're going to take fifteen point seven zero seven nine five, which is this number right here that I entered from a ten millimeter times three point one four divided by two equals this number and we're going to divide this by the need pulse number 6400 hit equals it's point zero zero two four five four three six seven one eight seven five exact same number that's up here it kind of tapers off at the back end um, there I think they're stretching out the math formula or something but uh, up here it reads point zero zero two four five four three six seven two it's just rounded up. That's all they've done. Or the software has rounded it up down here in the millionth place. To confirm this software logic, I'm going to change this to 3200. Click OK. This number is now changed. 0 0.004908 Whip out the calculator. i got to pull up my original here. So 15 point seven zero seven nine five divided by thirty two hundred equals point zero zero four nine zero eight seven three four three seven five point zero zero four nine zero eight seven three four four and they're just rounding the last digit so now we have the math figured out for pulse unit alrighty I'm gonna come in here and we're using a 10 millimeter and what I've done is clicked on the three little uh, perioded icon right next to range it says diameter so I've got a 10, di uh, 10 millimeter diameter dowel I'm going to work on need pulses re reading 6400 I'm going to click OK after I've clicked OK uh, I'm going to come up here and discover a number at 15.707963 all they've done is They've done the math formula you give me times the uh, 10 millimeter object times pi divided by 2, and that's how they came up with this number. And it's literally right up here. It's, it's that simple. Um, hope it helps.